of Stacy on the side of a road and a bunch of wildflowers. It had to be devastating. It was. She, it, it was awful. It, it was, was awful. awful. My memory of that is, uh, is my mom just sitting in her chair, just my baby, my baby, yeah, yeah, my so. baby, my baby. We had a bridal shower just a couple of days before she died. And all the bridal stuff was still sitting on my dining room table. How did you even process that? The pastor from the church is the one who told me. And um, my question to him was, how could God let this happen? Things, things happen. You know, this, this is the devil's world. When the DPS crime lab arrives, this is an impressive vehicle that comes down this dirt road in the middle of a pine forest. Exiting were photographers, serologists, physical evidence collection people. This was quite a unique crew to show up in this little sleepy county of Bastrop. Stacy's body is kind of almost a 10 to 12 feet off of the road in the high grass. She's laying on her back. And in between her legs, there's her name tag for the AGB. And she is missing a shoe from the foot that we found the shoe in the truck. That seems to be the shoe that she's missing. The interesting thing about that is her sock that's revealed underneath is completely clean. So it doesn't look like Stacy walked to this location. It looks like she was carried to this location and placed, meaning dumping a body. The way she was clothed, what she'd been doing, how her zipper was broken from being pulled apart, about all of the things that told us this was a classic rape case. There was what appeared to be the mate of that black woven belt that was found in the high school parking lot, laying on the side of the road. So this scene is now tying to the high school parking lot. It was a braided leather belt uh, that had been busted. It would appear to me that it was leather and that for it to, to break, it would have had to have a tremendous amount of force pulling on it. It was enough force on that belt around Stacy Stites' neck to kill her. Stacy Stites was strangled to death. The only prints that they were able to lift from the inside of the truck that were readable prints were Stacy's and Jimmy's. And yet, since that was his truck, his fingerprint being in that truck is not evidence of him perpetrating the crime. Jimmy Fennell was absolutely considered as a suspect. Any time a woman is murdered, the significant other is and should be one of the prime suspects. Around the time of Stacy's death, another woman by the name of Mary Ann Alt was also found dead. A man named David Lawhon had confessed to her killing, and there was some talk that he might have been responsible for Stacy's death. We knew about that case, and um, I know that it was definitely a, a, consideration. a consideration that there might have been um, a serial murderer up there. There are some similarities between the Stacy Stites case and the Mary Ann case. Mary Ann Alt is a little bit older than Stacy Stites, but in both a truck is used, and in both a body is dumped, and in both a earring is an important piece of evidence. David Lawhon had bragged about killing Stacy. And so David Lawhon became a suspect in Stacy Stites' murder. However, David Lawhon was excluded pretty quickly because the DNA from Stacy's murder did not match. David Lawhon is convicted of that second murder, but still no arrests in Stacy's case, and her devastated family is mourning her loss. Stacy's funeral was there in Bastrop. It was standing room only. The police set up a camera, a secret camera, to provide surveillance of the ceremony that's taking place. They are trying to surreptitiously capture people's emotions, people's reactions. I remember walking around and thinking, did the person that killed Stacy, did they come to her funeral? Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.